Hello everyone and welcome to another video. It's time to have another preview talk as we're just two days away from the next VFC round in Harris. But before we do that, I would suggest let's talk about the Imola race first. The Imola race was, I think it's fair to say, far from ideal, as Lucas finished on P2 by side having the potential to win it, but he had a, such a close fight with Schubert who won the race instead, but he got promoted post-race for an infringement and he finished third on paper. And Mark Schluter afterwards got promoted up to P2, which is good for him, but for Lucas it was definitely more to get. So from that side on, obviously far from ideal. From my side it was... Uh, you shouldn't say the word ideal because it was absolutely not. I mean, I was on one-stop strategy again, which you might argue worked out or did not work out, but um, I got overrun by the other guys in the first laps uh, on better tires and uh, lower fuel load and uh, got overtaken on a yellow flag with no consequences at all. And then, of course, nobody to blame but myself, I dropped it in the Piratella, losing my front wing and without losing all the chances to finish in a points. I think um, if you believe our calculations, we could end up around P6 or P7, which is more or less the same like in Brazil. But uh, yeah, I mean, I dropped it myself. It was just a pure racing driver error and uh, I just ran wide and uh, yeah, the, the rest is a physical uh, thing, you know. So I, th I finished P13, uh, just one place outside the points was not able to finish uh, to to help Lucas at all and well that's uh, that sucks of course scoring points in Imola would be so important as May is now the evaluation month for me and my contract clause as you know I have a two year deal with a team but due to a clause it might end up after this year so leaving the team after two and a half years or continue the relationship with Cesario and Torino for 2022 and maybe beyond is now the question which will be answered at the end of May with four races. So there's plenty of pressure on me now. By looking at the championship table, I think you can clearly see why I have the pressure on my shoulders as Schubert, with two wins under his belt, extended his lead over my teammate Lucas Schmidt, having one win and trailing seven points behind Sven Schubert with 49 and 42 points respectively. Kevin Peters, having a dreadful race with plenty of penalties in Imola, is still third with 33 points. After two strong outings, Mark Schluter find himself on P7 with 22 points, just ahead of Yannick, Mr. Consistent Malaika, with 18 points on P8. Myself and Luca Zorn, the guy in the other saldo, are on P9 and P10 with 12 points each. And I know that I can do better than that, as my 12 points are not enough to claim the second place in the team table, as Volksmobil, still leading the championship with 82 points, ahead of Clifford Royal Racing with 62 and just 8 points behind, there we are. Equipo Saldo holding for 4th with 30 points, ahead of Newman Racing and Russia GP with 28 points each. So that's about that. I think now it's time to have a look at Harris, as this track is, yeah, I think either loved or hated by, by the drivers in a paddock. I mean, I personally like it, because I, I simply like all the, uh, you know, old tracks with fast flowing corners you know unlike abu dhabi or something like that just just pure racing you know uh, with all the flowing corners i just love it i just love to rely on my tires rely on my suspension and also rely on my um well little talent but uh, it's just hell of a fun you know so this track offers 51 laps of race distance with a length of 4.423 kilometers and 13 turns in total. Six of them are long and fast. What we know for sure is that this track is the tire killer. I mean, I'm sure it will be difficult for the Duzan teams as well to keep the temperatures underneath 100 and keep the tire alive as long as possible. Also, I think it might be the best chance for Newman Racing to showcase their strength, as their car is known as the Downforce Queen. This is well required here to be quick in the fast, long corners. Overtaking, though, will be rather difficult, 
as we know, long fast corners is not that good to follow other cars. So it might be a good preparation for Monaco from one side, but from the other side it might be a very tactical race. If you take a look at the hot lap list at the moment of the recording, we see a huge surprise. Yannick Barvik holding the fastest lap overall with 1 minute 13.858. This guy is flying there. So we can see that the Newman car is strong here with the downforce they have, plus having a new engine is also a good advantage for them, as you still need to be fast in the long corners and the straights where you just simply don't brake. So having more power is certainly better here. Mark Schluter, who usually is the fastest guy overall in the list, keeps the second place with 1 minute 13.886, so just barely slower than Barvik, and McAllister, with his V4 engine, is on third, the first guy on 1 minute 14.111. Lucas Schmidt, being away for a week, still managed to make a 1 minute 14.395, with myself on P7 with 1 minute 14.622. So this remains interesting because you just have so many questions and just no answers. You know, what, what is Yannick Barvik able to do in, in terms of qualifying? Is he able to do to make this lap stick as he does it in the practice? Is he able to improve his time? Or what is Yannis Walbron doing? Can he replicate the time of his teammate? As he still has an older power unit, I think even the first from Melbourne. And what, what about Volksmobil? What are they? able to do in race pace and also in qualifying. Schmidt coming back tomorrow after his week off, what is he able to do and how, how can I help him to be com more competitive and also how can I um, help the team score more points? Where can I qualify myself and uh, what strategy do we gonna go for? Three stop, two stop, one stop, everything is possible. I don't think four stop strategy will be the smartest decision as the pit entry or the entire pit is pretty short. So um, yeah, so many questions and we still don't know yet. So just stay tuned for tomorrow. I think um, it will be an interesting race. I hope it will be everything like we wish for. And until then, it's time to say goodbye. So stay healthy and thanks a lot. Goodbye.